welcome one all, my name is Tavis and today we are taking a dive into the diamond charts. Yes, that's a thing. And uh, I had this Warhawk sitting around primed already, so I was like, how about we give this a twirl? Now, there is a company, Galaxy I think they're called, I never was forget. Anyway, yeah. A galaxy that is part of the clan diamond shark called the Lambda Spina galaxy. I think it's Lambda Spina. Having this nice bluish, whitish, sharkish, I think it's silver, but you know, hello, color, silver is white. So yeah, I was like, we're going to do that. That is going to be good. So yeah, I started off with a custom wash made from uh, non-oil, um, dark tone and some uh, mixing medium just to get it nice and runny. Slap that on the entire make just to bring the whiteness down a bit and give it some contrast around the cleanup. And then we start hitting it with some spaceship exterior which is a nice light grey, very light grey, almost white. And I mean, if you wonder why, well, it's needed. I was realized I forgot to slab some wash on a bit of leg there, so we compensated with some grey. Just making sure it looks good. Now, I don't know much about Clan Diamond Shark. They are never a clan I had particularly much interest in, but I'm a sucker for a nice paint job, and this. This is one of these paint jobs that like, I could take this and paint an entire star or an entire galaxy out of that. Because it's a nice crisp paint job that's fairly easy to apply. Base, white and blue. You prime it white. You don't technically even need to hit it with some contrast or anything. You not even wash it technically. Just make sure it's a slightly darker white. Not a skull white, but what a darker white. And then you slap some skull white on that and that part is done and you slap some nice blue on it. I'm using ultramarine blue but I would not recommend that because it's a horrible color. I keep thinking it's good. It is never good. Army painter, I don't know what you do with that color but it is not good. You should look into that. It's a very sad paint. Very sad. Very runny. Hard to get a good cover with it. And it's called ultramarine blue. It's always the bluest blue you can find. Okay, not taking out the bluest blue, but you know what I mean. A nice deep blue. It's not. It's horrible. Anyway. So, in this case, I'm going the uh, heraldry way. Basically taking the silver that is usually used for these and exchanging it for a white. Most because I was not interested in painting half a mech silver again. I did that with the Centurion, it turned out pretty good and uh, I wasn't interested in, that, in, interested in that today. So instead I went to my knowledge of heraldry and silver is white, same as gold is yellow. I was like, yep, yeah, let's use white. This of course had the side effect of me not being able to use my standard silver for the weapons design because, well, I can't mix silver and white. That would be counterproductive to what I'm trying to do. So instead of the painted weapons white too. Yeah, I have hang-ups sometimes. Sorry for that. But yeah, I couldn't put silver on there. Same with the feet. I usually paint the feet silver because it makes sense to my broken brain. I couldn't do that this time. It was an interesting challenge. Now, I was at one point considering painting on a Diamond Shark logo, but I hell no. Mm -mm. Let me try and explain to you what it looks like. It is a shark on a white field with a blue diamond behind it, and behind that blue diamond are three red arrows. I am not painting that on a surface 
That is about three millimeters. Mm -mm. Sorry to say, I did not have the eyesight for that. But there are water side decals for those sort of things. If you like that, it's nice. It's also a way to keep people in business. So recommend that if you like that. But yeah, just hitting everything with a nice white. This is a good base in this case. Now, it did actually have a fairly interesting, almost cell shaded look before I started. And I should probably try to paint a mic in the cell shaded style at some point. Seeing how the cell shaded style is pretty much just one step extra into the whole edge highlighting thing. But that's a thing for a later time. Not doing that today. Today we're just painting a nice white and blue mic. I should actually paint up a bunch of mech in the uh, in flag colors because flag colors are great. But yeah, that is not here, not now. I get sidetracked. I don't know if you mentioned that. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure if you're listening to this. If you're listening to this, hi. I'm very happy that you're listening to this, but I'm also very sorry for you because I have to listen to this. I get sidetracked a lot. It happens. Terribly sorry. But that is what it is. Now, wrapping up the white and moving on to more paints. Technically, it's not more paints. Technically, we are just getting some matte white and mixing it in with the other paint to make a more a bit of a highlight. Not a more highlight, a bit of a highlight. Because some of the white was a bit too dull, so I wanted to just make it pop a bit. And matte white is a good pick for that. Basically, just thinking about where would light hit from if it was outside. So exposed areas of white got a slap of matte white on them. But yeah, I've been thinking. At one point I tried to start an interesting project of drawing things based on Pokemon cards. But my art skills are still pretty lackluster and I did not feel like putting that out there because people would be like, oh my dear lord, what are you doing? But I had an idea, you see. What if we pick up, let's say, four or five blind boxes, get a pack of Pokemon cards, take the Pokemons from that pack and paint the mechs inspired by the Pokemons? Maybe a stupid idea. I don't know. But to me it sounds kind of fun. And I think you can do that. You're just going to have to pick up some boxes first. I have no clue when or if you're going to ever see those again. They've been out of stock for quite some time. My local store, they got about one case in. And that went very quickly. And now some people ask, but why don't you just order from the Catalyst Game Store? That is some, that's a thing you can do. But here's the thing. The shipping is a hundred dollars. I ain't picking up four or five blind boxes and then pay a hundred dollars shipping on that. Sorry, just ain't happening. Yeah, as I mentioned before, we wanted to do blue, so we are diving right in with the ultramarine blue. Just making sure we get a nice layer of blue in there. And this is where you can be a bit random because basically you can pick whatever part or field or bit you want to paint blue. There is not a 100% set in stone pattern or anything in this case. So just go nuts, pick the panels you feel like. It's fairly easy actually. I like that we mix, they're easier. I like that panel blue, blue panel. But beyond that, there's not much you can do with ultramarine blue and I mixed it I put that thing in my drill and like <clears throat> had a drill spin it for a good solid 30-40 seconds that didn't help I don't know why it didn't help but it didn't help that by the way is a little hack if you have a drill or a uh, electric screwdriver you can actually just 
force at least the drop bottles into the holder for the drill, tighten it properly, then carefully just line the thing up and run that to mix your paint. No need for a Vortex mixer or that weird thing they're selling now. Because the weird stick thingy, that is literally just the same idea. A Vortex mixer is at least a Vortex mixer, that's a bit different. But the spinny thing is just basically a low power drill. Or you can be hardcore and make a sort of wispy, whiskey thing. Not a whiskey thing, a whisking thing. For your Dremel and you stick that into a bottle. But that's there's a good chance you would have paint everywhere after you've done that. So don't do that. It's a dumb idea. But yeah. Anyway. I tried mixing this paint, it just did not agree with anything. And it still doesn't agree with anything. I asked, are you agreeing? It's like, no, I am not agreeing. And I don't know why. Why is it not agreeing? Might be that I have a default, not default, a defunct bottle. That happens. Sometimes you get paint that just went through quality control without controlling the quality. It happens with everything. Since these are not mixed on to the mound. I mean that set I bought probably sit, sat on a shelf for like ages. Anyway, once this was dried I realized that dear lord in everything this looks dull and boring. So I was like okay let's mix in some Viking blue into that. Because Viking blue is a much brighter color. You can see it on screen there. It's like that bright. Mix it with the ultramarine blue, that makes a nice color. I should have started with that. I didn't. It was a mistake. So I basically go over all... Go, uh, I bit my tongue. Ow. Basically, I went over all the blue areas with this new paint mix and touched them up. Made sure they were looking nice and poppy. And I mean, once that was done, it was just smooth sailing. Actually, I cheat a bit because I actually also make a Viking blue and matte white mix and highlight with that one. Because I can't leave it unhighlighted. It looks weird. I'm not going to show that process because it's a process you've seen a lot of times. It's basically just a basic edge highlighting. Brushing it over quickly, not being all that careful because this make has a lot of sharp edges. You just pick the edges you like and slap some paint on there. Keep your brush straight and draw with the edge of the brush, not the tip. And that should do the trick. There are very good tutorials out there if you want to. I don't have any good tutorials on that because a lot of people have done that already. A lot of people. Like everyone. So yeah, we can wrap this up with painting the cockpit because quite honestly, uh, also we're going to touch up a bit why they got painted over, but that's a little problem. Since I don't have any weapons to paint this time, the only thing that's left now pretty much is painting the cockpit gold. Because I like it. It's my choice. You don't have to like my choice, but it's my choice nonetheless. And I basically just used some old leftover greedy gold for that. I had it sitting on a pallet already, so why not use it? So yeah, that's pretty much what we used for that. Um, I can also add, I did then in the end add on a few red stripes on the weapons, but it looked so bad, I'm going to take them away again. It was a bad choice. The idea was good. Execution, very flawed. But yeah, that is pretty much it. One. Warhawk of the Lambda Spina Galaxy. Lambda Spina Galaxy. Very nice. I also painted the mouth on it. But you're not going to show that either because it was. I kind of had the process like very weirdly. So yeah, basically I said quick edge hitting on it. It's very nice. So, that's it. Thank you for watching. And uh, hit like, subscribe, post a comment, all that nice stuff that make YouTube happy, you know, because while this is not my job, it's still fun to get a bit of feedback. And until next time, stay safe, be kind, and do, do play fair. Bye!